Anheuser-Busch and Miller Coors used to have the beer market cornered. Now, as people's taste for lagers, pilsners, and pale ales have evolved, that market is being taken over by the everyman and every woman, so long as they have the drive, know-how, equipment, and time to craft their own beer. We found someone like that in Cedarville. Paul Nixon turned his barn into his own personal distillery, and he's ready to give the big brewers a run for their money. We stopped in to get a tour. The popularity of craft beer has seen a steady incline for the past couple of decades. Whether it's pale ale, stout, or lager, people love their specialty brews. In fact, they love them so much, regular folks are going ahead and making their own beers. Another trend that's on the upswing. Tucked away in a dirt road off of Route 3A, they've been brewing beer inside this barn now since April of 2014. Representing Plymouth Craft, Paula Marcou put together a tour group of guys and gals all interested in getting a first-hand look at the process of making some tasty suds. This tour was the first of its kind for Independent Fermentation's founder, Paul Nixon, whose biggest challenge may have been the tight quarters for all of the onlookers. It's different. It's like giving one tour to, what, 15 people? So kind of had to keep it general. But then getting the specifics when people had questions, they had some good questions too. Good questions like, when can we taste it? And they did, eventually. But first, they got a chance to see just what it takes to make that craft beer that they wanted to taste. We had, got everybody involved, which was nice. We can't always do that in a tour, but we had everybody help with uh, grinding the grains and then particularly mashing in, which is stirring the grains into the water. So we had everybody take a turn on that. I said it was kind of like soccer practice where you make two lines and do your passing drills back and forth. So we had you know, people taking turns, one bucket for each pair of people. It worked out great. Paula Marcou is no stranger when it comes to keeping it local with regard to what she eats and drinks. And that's something she likes about what the brewers here in Cedarville are doing. Uh, most all their beers are malt, they're as made from malt and hops that come from Massachusetts, and that's pretty unusual these days. They're available only in local stores, uh, and it's really fun for me to be able to buy a beer that's made right here uh, and made of ingredients that come from right here. It's uh, not something we could do just a few years ago. It's been exciting to buy beer from breweries that are around here, but from ingredients that come from here too, it's wonderful. Reporting from Cedarville, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News. Yeah, for, for us, we, uh, <laughs>